Okay, so today we're going to, I'm going to replace a, a CV axle for this 2019 Toyota Highlander. Um, the reason I changed in the CV axle is because this one got, he was involved in an accident, so the CV axle is, is, is bended, so we have to replace it. So to remove the tire, we're gonna use a 21 millimeter socket. So, uh, 21. Okay, so now that we remove the tire, we're gonna remove the bracket, and to remove the this CV axle nut, the rudder, and we're gonna remove the spindle bolts. And also we're going to remove the outer tie rod and the CV and the ABS sensor. So to remove this one, we're gonna use a 22 millimeter. So, and this one we're going to use, I think is uh, 13, I'll be sure with, with this one. So first thing is remove the uh, the brake caliper. So uh, 14, uh, 14 millimeter to remove the caliper. So we're gonna remove this bolt and this bolt right here. So in this case, I wanna use my scratch. Oops. <clears throat> All right, so I got this hook ready to Get my caliper. Hang to like this, and to not damage the brake hose. So, so now I uh, remove the brake pads. If you don't want to remove the, the bracket and the rudder, it's fine. Um, you don't need to. <laughs> so now we're going to remove. Uh, we're going to remove the, this one too. So. Well, you don't have to remove this one either, I think. So I'm gonna try removing the CV axle without removing this outer tie rod. So we're gonna add a little bit of of the PV blaster to the nut right here. So in this case, I want to use a uh, 114 to remove that the nut right here because I don't I don't have one 116. So 114 is fine.
here and we're going to use a 22 to remove uh, the bolt threader but we're going to remove uh, the the ABS sensor we're gonna use number 10 millimeter On, on the side, take this clip here, just put it together with the caliper. Okay, so now we're ready to remove the 22 bolts. Push it a little bit. So when I use a hammer. So we got the new the spindle out like this. So all right, let's see. So I'm on, I'm going to remove this bracket and the rotor to check the wheel bearing. Uh, to make sure the wheel bearing is in good condition to remove this one we're going to use a 17 a 17 uh, uh, Let's hold yes. So, so we remove that one to check the spindle to see if it doesn't have any play left left and right and up and down like this so we spin it and it, it sounds that it's, it's fine all right so now I'm gonna remove the CV axle from 
from here. So let me show you the new one. Okay, so we have the new one. So we need to remove the bracket that is holding this bearing right here. So let, let me lift it up a little bit. Okay, so, so we are going to, huh? Well, I don't think it's the right one. And uh, it's not the right one. I think it was the right one, but it's not. All right. Okay, so we're going to remove this. And this bracket, this uh, bracket right here. So. All right, so. I use my bias grips. Remove it. All right. So we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose this ball right here a little bit. Uh, this is number fourteen. So now we're gonna get rid of our bucket just in case. Just pull it. There you go. Okay, so it's getting out. Okay, so so I'm gonna remove it. Okay, guys, so I tried to remove the CV axle, but I couldn't, so I had to remove the, the motor mount. So we have this one is number 19, and these ones are number 17. So we're gonna remove this one. We're gonna remove these covers here, here, here. And let's see. And that's it. All right, so, so 19th, okay, so the 17th and 19th, yeah, all right, so let's remove this one, okay, over one.
there. So now we're gonna use a, a hoist to lift up the engine. Okay, so now we put the hoist down here. We're gonna lift up the engine and we are ready to remove. Ready to remove the um, So now you grab a hammer, just hit it. Be the same size. The same size, so we're gonna remove this clip. We're gonna put it in here in the new shaft. Alright, so we're gonna install it and we're gonna put it back. Okay, so Got a new axle inside there, so have to make sure. Okay. So for uh, to install the axle, make sure it's all the way it's straight. Uh, if it's not straight, it is not going inside. So. Just make sure it's straight and you can see here. Let's see. Right. Yes, I did. So I need to use my both hands to put put it straight over there. Alright, so good. So now as you can see it's all the way inside there, so we need to press this 
down to to put this the safety uh, lock there and uh, well I think that's it guys um, I don't think I need to show you how to put it back everything back together I'm gonna show you the torque the torques um, in the end of this video so was the torque of this one and um, so to install the the safety clip you're gonna you're gonna use the same method uh, with the vice grips and just let it go like this so Right. Yes, uh, with the flat driver, you will make sure it's on position there. Yeah. All right. And don't forget to tight this 14 bolt right there. Yeah. Just make sure you put everything back in in good place. You don't know how to put it back. I just I start the video again and and we show you we show you how to the wa the way it was before you remove it so thank you guys and I hope this video help you and thank you for watching my videos and please don't forget to subscribe and and just give me a like alright thank you guys and see you next time